Hey, Visibility Hacker, welcome back. Welcome to those of you who are new. In this video, we are talking about social selling because we are on video three of our social selling series. Say that 10 times fast. In today's video, it's specifically, we're going to be addressing when to use social selling in your business. And we're going to be doing this in a variety of different ways. We know that social selling isn't something that you have to save for in your business. It's not something that you have to invest in ahead of time in order to build up and be ready to start. Social selling is something you can start now, regardless of what stage in your business are you are in. Even if you're just in the idea phase, starting your social selling journey is essential. Essential. Seriously. Um, this is your, your space to start connecting to your customer, start understanding your market. You can start developing products in relation to what people are telling you. Where If you've been more established, you know what direction you should be moving towards. If social selling is, as when I say it's essential, I mean it. It is essential. I'm Coach Molly from Visibility Hacking Studios. We help small businesses boost their visibility and ultimately connect with the right customers who are going to start paying more money so that they can make more money in their bank accounts and everyone is happy. More money, more impact, more outcomes. And that's what we look for in the visibility hacking world. And so today we're going to talk about social selling and looking at how we can use this in our businesses to accomplish three different goals. First, we're going to look at using social selling to increase increase our brand's perception. Then we'll talk about using social selling to boost community engagement. And then we'll talk about how social selling leads to higher conversion rates, moving someone from a place of indecision to a decision like paying for your product, service, course, offer, or whatnot. So if you want to boost your brand's perception, engagement, and income, then definitely stay tuned. I'll see you after the intro. In this video, we're technically talking about what we like to call IPEC goals. And the first part, well, the I you will is irrelevant in this conversation, but the P stands for perception. And we want to understand how our brand can build a deeper, wider perception. How many of our ideal customers know that we exist? Let alone, do they understand what our brand's voice and personality and approach is? Do they know what products or services we offer? Do they know what makes us unique to those else out there that are trying to sell the same types of services, outcomes, or transformations that we help people achieve? Understanding all of this is really important. We need to know how is our brand perceived in the eyes of those we want to start coming into our world world. Are we the mean girl? Are we too unapproachable and untouchable? Or are we the, that best friend? We want to position ourselves as that trusted best friend that our customers are going to start coming to. We want them to feel comfortable sharing their vulnerabilities and their obstacles and what hasn't worked for them in the past. And we also want them to feel like we can help encourage and motivate them towards a better solution, towards achieving that goal that they've always wanted to achieve. Achieve. And we do this by creating specific goals and understanding what our brand's current perception is and where we'd like to be, and therefore creating the pathway to get there. By using social selling, we're able to share all of that information. When we create the right types of content, our ideal customers get to understand what it's like to work with us, what our personality is, what enemy are we throwing rocks at that we can throw rocks at together with our ideal customers. Understanding all of that is how we can use social selling to boost our brand's perception. So talking about perception, that has to do with our question of the day today. So let me know down in the comments what your answer to, today, to today's question is. And that would be, how is your brand perceived? How do you think that your brand is perceived? And then bonus points for those of you who go out and ask your customers the same question and report back if there was the same perception, if you the way that you perceive your brand 
brand was the same as the way that your customers perceive your brand, or was there a difference in the way that your brand was perceived? So let me know down in the comments how your brand was perceived. If you take on this extra challenge, if there was um, the same between what your customers say, or if there was something different, and if you don't yet have a brand thought out and you don't yet have customers to perceive that brand, let us know about your dream brand. What kind of brand would you like to have? What is the perception you would like people to have of that brand? Let us know down in the comments. Now, if we go back to the IPEC goals, we know that the second um, second big goal there is our engagement goal. And this means we want to see how people are engaging with our content. Okay, we can talk about vanity metrics. These are the things like, is our content being liked or shared or commented on? Those are specific metrics. We can tick a tally box. Yes, there, there was a comment. There was three comments. There was two likes. There was 27 shares. Those are numbers that we can hold to, but they're vanity metrics. We don't actually understand the intent behind each of those actions, but what we can do is we can utilize those moments of engagement to deepen the connection we have within our brand. That comes from social selling. So for example, if you were to create a live show, this will generate a lot of engagement if you do it properly. If you're just showing up and you're very monotone and you're barely in frame and you're kind of stumbling along with your graphics and whatnot, it's not going to be nearly as engaging as if you were asking questions, asking people for shout outs. Where are you guys tuning in from? Let us know down in the chat. And also like, actually, let me know where you guys are watching from. That would be cool. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but asking for those moments of engagement, being specific about building those into our content is going to help us build that engagement. And once we have engagement, we can then focus on the next area of how social selling can help us. But before we get to that, make sure you hit the thumbs up and you subscribe here on the channel because we want new videos to get to your inbox as soon as they are published so you can start putting in place those tips, tricks, and strategies to build your brand's visibility as well. So we all want to talk about money, right? We want to know how how we can use social selling to bottom line make more money, right? That's what you came here for. So now we've gotten this far in the video, I will tell you the secret. So using social selling is a way that we can build what's called the know, like, and trust factor. When people know us, they begin to then like us and once they get to the area of trusting us is when they'll be able to move to conversion, move to a place where they will go from indecision, not yet knowing if they want your product or they even want to keep following you, to a place of decision where they have proudly decided that they say yes to your product, service, or offer. Getting them to that place means that we need to walk them down that aisle. We need to show them the path and let them take their their own time. In conventional marketing and in the early days of digital marketing, that path was really set in stone. It was really, if you don't follow at the same timing and you don't ask the right questions, then we're not, our marketing isn't going to hit with you. But now we have the ability to have these live conversations with our people. We're able to have, we're really able to get into an intimate space with them. I have customers who fall asleep watching our live streams like every Friday night. That's their connection to their friends. Well, I get to literally be as intimate as falling asleep with my customers because we're able to build that social connection. My customers buy into becoming a visibility hacker before they actually purchase products. So when they end up purchasing, they're already bought in. They are already gung-ho. They know what our processes and our systems are like. They know the language we use because they've been following what we've been doing. And it's so impactful when that happens. So building that space of having that social connection with your customers 
customers before they purchase, before you even ask them to purchase, is really going to set your expertise and authority in their heads before you even get to a place of feeling like you're a slimy salesman. It's great. It's fantastic. I don't do outbound sales because I position myself as an authority and customers start coming to me when they know that, hey, Molly does X, Y, and Z, and that's what I need help with right now, so I'm going to Molly. And that's the way it works, and it's, it's fantastic, and I want that for your business as well. I don't want you to have that headache and that heavy feeling of having to chase leads because that feels gross and feels really detached and kind of slimy. So I also want to give you as many tools as I can to help you build your visibility, to help you build that connection with your customers. So if you don't have a already awesome small business marketing plan, you're definitely going to want to check the links down below and get your hands on our small business marketing worksheet. It will help you create the best possible marketing plan. It'll go hand in hand with whatever size business plan you have. Even if your business plan is scratched on the back of a receipt that you're writing right now as you're hearing me talk, it does not matter. Um, but your marketing plan really, really does. So check that out down below. Join us in the Visibility Hacking group. Head over to visibilityhacking.com. Click the link at the top that says become a visibility hacker and you can join us over in there. I'd love to see you. Until then, my friends, remember, I love you. Be excellent to each other and just go live because your people are out there and they are waiting for you.